Welcome back to The Gun Collective. My name is John Patton. Guys, I got my buddy Ben here, who you may have seen in some of the other videos. He is kind of my precision expert, my armorer, my helper with silly things like we've got going on here today. Is that right? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing? What is this? This is completely different than what you're used to seeing here on The Gun Collective. Well, my friends here at Taplock reached out and they said, hey, we've got this really interesting padlock and we want you guys to take a look at it. They say on their website that this thing is unbreakable. We are about to put that to the test. What makes this interesting is that it is a fingerprint unlock, a Bluetooth unlock, and even Morse code if you so want to use the power button to do that. This is a very very interesting thing. It's weather resistant. It's got a whole bunch of really, really neat features. This is uh, not what I would call your everyday master lock. So, without further BS, we've got a bunch of stuff here that we are going to put it to the test with. We're going to see exactly what this thing can take and still be opened. We've got our shenanigans here on this post. Much like Demolition Ranch, I am totally ripping Matt off because it's a great way to do this. We are going to start with the Browning Buck Mark here in 22 long rifle, shooting some standard velocity CCI. We've got the Glock 19 threaded barrel extended mag for whatever reason with a single shot that we're using here today. We've got some Federal Train and protect ammo. Moving up from there will be the HK45 with some Wolf 230 grain. And then if that's not enough to knock this thing down, we've got the Desert Eagle here in 50 AE with some blazing Underwood ammo. And of course, rounding it out, we've got the CZ805 Bren pistol with the SB Tactical folding brace and some more Wolf ammo down there. What do you say, Ben? Should we get to it? Let's see what this thing will do, right? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Okay, so I have a feeling if you hit it on the front, the uh, fingerprint sensor is probably not going to work. In three, two, one. That one's dead center. All right, let's go see what happens. All right, let's see what, oh dear God. Uh, there's a bullet stuck in the front of your lock here, Ben. <laughs> That's interesting. So he hit it square right in the middle of the fingerprint sensor. There's the bullet. You can see the back end of that. That's pretty neat. All right, we have no way of confirming whether or not this will... The LED's not even coming out. Yeah, the LED's not working. It appears as though if you strike the face of this anywhere near this kind of center portion, it's just not gonna work. Let's see what we can do with these other ones and how much destruction these other rounds will cause to these locks. Let's move on. Okay, so downrange, we have a new silver lock. We shot the 22. It hit right in the center in the circuit board. So obviously that's not gonna fail, but the lock is still locked. It's not like we blew it apart. It's still gonna function as a lock. You just gotta cut it open then. Uh, so uh, I think what we need to do now is hit it with a nine. Ben, are you ready? All right, here we go. Three, two, one. That's a good hit. There you go. All right, let's go see what happens. You hit this one dead center. This was the 22. Here's the nine. It looks like you popped the screen and look at that. Is that jacketing? Is that the bullet? <laughs> Did it absorb another bullet? Look at that. That's lead. Okay, so it's still on there as a lock. Let's see if we can maybe turn it on. Any LED? Nope, that one is toast. All right, let's break some more stuff. The 22 stopped in the fingerprint sensor. The nine was absorbed by the casing. Now we've got the 45 out here. This is 230 grain ball ammo. We've got the high speed. We are ready. Ben, are you feeling good? Ben's feeling good. Three, two, one. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, dude. You just blew the thing apart. <laughs> All right, let's see what the high speed has to say about that. Oh my God. Where the hell did it go? Oh, okay. So it was about here. Ben happened to hit it on the top edge, right where the bar intersects. Look at, I, look at the indent it put in there. Yeah, that's some serious force. And look, the bar, I mean, you hit it 
it was like this. So it pushed the bar back into the wood. So let's see if we can get a good center hit. Center hit yeah, let's see if we can get a good center hit with a 45. That's cool. Let's do another one. Ben is on the HK45 yet again in three, two, one. That's a good hit. You can see that he hit it right on the side piece. We, since we know a 22 and a nine will get it to stop functioning, I think we've just continued that here. It doesn't open unless you hit right here. That's yeah. obviously where it's gonna open. We did that with the last one. I think we, I think we need to hit it with the big boy. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Here we go. All right, so we hit it with the 22, we hit it with the nine, we hit it with the 45. They all were able to stop the lock or pop it uh, it still held in most cases when we didn't hit the bar itself. Ben now has a 300 grain jacketed hollow point from Underwood Ammo in the Desert Eagle. Ben, are you ready? Ben is ready in three, two, one. Hey, good God, look at that. I can see it from here. Dude, that's, uh, that's, that's real interesting. Let's go see if you punch through it. I think you did a pretty good job hitting it in the effing face. Look, you split the case right here. Look at the, look at the two by. Oh my God, <laughs> look at that. Dude, that high speed is gonna be so cool. You, you literally just blew the entire front off. I don't, we can't even check if it will open. Let's see. It's still good, okay. So you can blow the freaking face off of the thing. I don't see it laying on the ground anywhere, but you can blow the face off and it's still good. That's impressive. Let's keep going. All right, guys, so we've been through a bunch here. We actually did find the front of the one we shot with the 50 AE. It just took a big chunk out. We even found some of the circuit board laying on the ground. That's impressive. We wanna see what will punch through this, right? So what do you do? You hit it with a two, two, three. We've got the CZ805 Bren pistol with the SB tactical folding brace. Three, two, one. Hey, -o. that's a hit. That's a good hit. Look, look, you can see from here that it punched right next to the fingerprint sensor. Let's see what happened. Let's go down range and see if it went through. Right here, we've got the 50 AE and we've got the 223 and it ate it. It's inside there. It's inside here. Oh, this lock is, so, feel how hot that is. That's like abnormally hot. These are not hot in comparison. This thing is super hot. You're, you're probably right. And there's, uh, is there any bulging? There's like a tiny bit of bulging in the back, a tiny, tiny bit, but that thing just ate a 223. And it's still, <laughs> wow, it ate a 223. All right, what we need to do now is we need to, we need to spin one around. Let's spin it around and see what it does on the backside. So it ate a 223, uh, Ben here, has a Benelli M4 with a Rio Royal Star low recoil, let's see, one and one eighth ounce slug. And we've got one of these things turned around backwards on the top down range. So we are gonna see if a slug will punch through and break the lock on the top. If that doesn't do it, I mean, come on. This is, you, you, we're getting a little ridiculous. It ate a two, two, three. We, we thought that was gonna go right through. Ben's like, there's no way. There's no way it's gonna stop it. It's just gonna go right through. But it stopped it. Ben is ready. High speed is ready. In three, two, one. Hey, oh, that's a hit. Dude, that is a hit. That's a hit. All right. He melted a 12 gauge slug into the back here. I just hit the edge and blew the top out. Good God, okay, so it can be beat by a 12 gauge slug. Let's have some gratuitous fun and just destroy the rest of these since we can't get them off of here anyway. Yeah. Sound like fun? Yeah. All right. I got some more we got some more shotgun shells too. Let's do it. First one up top, Ben's gonna hammer it with the 12 gauge slug, one and one eighth ounce, and three, 
two, one. Hey, there's a hit. So we hit it with the nine and there's the 12 gauge peeling out of the side and you blew the gasket. Come on, you blew an O-ring. You broke it. All right, so this is the one we hit with the 45. Three, two, one. Ben is gonna take out his remaining anger on that same lock that he just smushed off the edge. In three, two, one. I don't know what happened there, but. Center hole, center hole. You put it in the middle? Yeah. Holy crap. All right, so this one has now taken a 45 and two 12 gauge slugs. That's actually pretty impressive. Obviously, if you hit it in the bar, we found that it's gonna, it's gonna pop. In certain other instances, it'll pop, but this ate a 223 down here, it ate a 50 AE, and now this has eaten a 45 and two 12 gauge slugs. Pretty effing impressive. Well, that was a freaking result, right? I have to say so. Yeah, yeah, so it, it ate the 22 with no problem. Obviously, they kind of, they locked open. This was the 22, just punched right in the middle there. That's cool, it took a 22, it took a nine. I think this was the nine. And then we hit it with a 12 gauge later and that popped it apart. The 45, I don't remember, this was the 45 where you hit it with the, yep. in the bar area. Then we had the 45 that took multiple. This was after three, 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 slugs. Slugs. three slugs and a 45 and it's still locked. Uh, I don't even remember what the, this was the back. We hit the back with the 12. Do we remember what was going on on the front? I, I think we just flipped this one around. Then we had the 50 AE over here. We had the 50 AE that just blew the whole front off. Just blew the front off. Then we had the 223 and we noticed something kind of interesting about that. This lock, I don't know how hot it was, but it got like significantly hotter than any of these other ones from I think Ben says that he hit the battery, yeah, right? You the, think? Yeah, I think the battery just discharged into the... Yeah, it just kind of popped. Yeah. Guys, I think the results kind of speak for themselves. The tap locks did really, really well. Obviously, the features kind of stop working once you destroy the electronics. I think we can agree to that, but still very cool. I'll put a link down in the description so you guys can go check them out. I want to say a special thank you to Ben no for being the shooter today. Did you have fun? Yeah, it's actually nice outside, no rain, so. Yeah, we got rid of the rain here in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Ben got to break his wrist with the Desert Eagle. But uh, yeah, guys, if you want to see more video with cool high-speed video, just like this here on the Gun Collective, be sure to hit that like button and let us know down in the comments below. Of course, there are links all over the place for you to find us on social media. And as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon.